Now to Washington, where the maneuvering to succeed John Boehner as Speaker of the House is in overdrive after his surprise announcement that he'll resign. Juliana Goldman now has a look at what's next. It's been an honor to serve in this institution. Announcing his resignation, John Boehner issued this warning to lawmakers once he's gone. At the end of the day, the leaders have to be able to work with each other, trust each other, uh, to find the common ground to get things done. Uh, and uh, so if the Congress stays focused on what the, is important to the American people, they'll get along just fine. But hope may spring eternal. Boehner's departure is likely to bring even more turmoil to a gridlock Congress. God bless you, Speaker Boehner. And the next speaker will be tested immediately, presiding over a fractured Republican caucus where conservatives are eyeing budget showdowns with the president later this fall. The leading candidate for speaker is Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy. He's a prolific fundraiser which has endeared him to the far right, but he's also risen in the ranks as an ally of Boehner's. <laughs> Conservative activists cheered his resignation as they gathered in Washington to hear from Republican presidential hopefuls. I think it's good, it's time, and it's time for somebody else to go in. Like Donald Trump who has risen in the Republican field campaigning as an outsider, promising to take on the political establishment. Family Research Council President Tony Perkins said conservatives are looking for a speaker with that same combative spirit. Americans, conservatives who put the Republican in the majority are tired of the, uh, the Republican majority running into every skirmish with the president waving a white flag. They're tired of them surrendering. They want them to fight. In a New York Times op-ed, former Majority Leader Eric Cantor, who often clashed with Boehner, came to his defense. He said Republican leaders need to fight smartly. Jim, he wrote, I've never heard of a football team that won by throwing only Hail Mary passes, yet that is what is being demanded of Republican leaders today. Juliana, thank you very much.